Today in our 2017 Toyota Corolla IM, we'll be having a look at and installing the Roadmaster Brake Light Relay Kit for towed vehicles, part number RM-88400. All right, with our brake light relay installed, what it does is allow us to disable our vehicle's brake light switch when our vehicle is in tow mode. That way, when our vehicle is being pulled behind our RV and our RV has its turn signal on and the brakes are depressed inside our vehicle by our supplemental braking system, we don't have to worry about our brake lights overriding the signal from our RV to turn our turn signal on. Now, it's really cool about this is the fact that once you unhook from your RV and you're ready to drive your vehicle around town at your destination, you don't have to worry about pulling any fuses or putting a fuse back in or flipping any switches. All you do, just turn your key on and the relay automatically will send your brake light signal back to your brake lights in the back of your vehicle. And to enter it back into tow mode, all you do is just take the key out of the ignition and there you go. Now that we've gone over some features, we'll show you how to get it installed. Okay, now we're gonna be working on the driver's side floorboard of our vehicle. We'll be working in the area right above our pedals here. Now in order to access our brake light switch, we wanna take down this panel up here to make it a little bit easier for us. Okay, now on each corner of our panel, right below our steering column, we will find two Phillips screws that we need to remove. Then we can grab the panel, push it on this tab here in the middle, push it on that. Then we can pull it down and set it aside. Okay, so underneath our dash, looking up at the top of our brake pedal arm, right above our brake pedal return spring, we see a white connector. This white connector goes to our brake pedal switch. We will disconnect this connector and unclip the wiring harness from any attachment point in the vehicle so we can bring it down further so we have room for to work with. There's a tab closest to the driver's side of the vehicle. When you press in on that tab, you pull back on the connector and it becomes released. We have our electrical connector brought down now. We already unclipped it from everything. Now we're gonna remove some of the electrical tape that's on it so we can access the wires inside. Make a slit up it, making sure we don't cut any of the wires inside. Okay, we got it cut enough with a utility knife that we can use a pair of side cutters now to help slit it faster. Okay, now we got all of our electrical tape and wire loom off of our brake light switch connector. We have plenty of wire to work with. The wire that we're gonna be working with on this connector is the blue wire. We will now cut it right in the middle. And we'll strip back some insulation from both ends. Okay, if you're installing a towed vehicle braking system or a supplemental braking system in your car as well, and it has an indicator light, you'll need to install an additional wire that's not included with the kit but comes with your vehicle's braking system. We're gonna tie that in with the blue wire closest to our connector. So we'll strip off some insulation from it, and we'll twist these two wires together. We'll take our blue butt connector, comes over our relay, and we'll crimp it on. Okay, now on our other end of our blue wire that's furthest away from our connector, we're gonna twist it together, make sure it's nice and tight. Once we have it nice and twisted together, we will fold it in half and double it back on itself. This way it's thicker and we get a better connection with our butt connector. Slide our butt connector on over and we'll crimp it down. We'll pull back and make sure it's secure, which it is. All right, now on our relay harness socket, we have five wires coming off of it. The blue wire here is for if your vehicle has a push button start. Ours does not, it uses a standard key. So we will remove this blue wire just by cutting it off at the base of the socket. Now we'll use our green wire, remove the insulation here that's already pre-stripped a little bit, twist it together. And this green wire will go to our blue butt connector 
that is closest to our switch. So with that wire in there, we'll crimp it down. Now our black wire will go to our other butt connector. So we'll do the same thing. Okay, now we need to access our passenger fuse compartment, which is right about the same area we've been working. It's right here. We'll just grab cover and pull down. All right, now we need to access a fuse that only has power when the ignition is on. Conveniently, our ignition has its own separate fuse for it. It is a seven and a half amp fuse that is closest to the firewall, fourth one down. So that's this one right here. So we'll remove this fuse. Okay, now the fuse that we removed has these recessed legs. For what we're gonna be doing, we need to have a replacement fuse the same amperage with extended legs. So we can discard that fuse. Now, in order to protect the circuit that we remove this fuse from, it'll go into the bottom section of our add a circuit, fuse tap. So we'll just stick that in there. This way our original circuit is still protected by the right amperage fuse. And we'll push it in. Now, the top one will power our brake light relay that we're installing. We'll just use the 10 amp fuse that comes with our kit and stick it in the tap and push it down until it's secure. Now the red wire that comes off of our relay socket, not the red wire that we added for our indicator light, we'll attach this to our fuse tap and crimp it on down. That leaves us with our white wire this is a ground wire. We need to attach this to our vehicle's chassis with either the provided self-tapping screw in a ring terminal, or we can find an existing ground point in our vehicle and reuse that one. That's what I'm going to look for right now so we don't have to drill any holes in our vehicle. All right, I found a good ground location right here of this mounting stud. There's a 12 millimeter nut that we can remove in order to put a ring terminal on. Okay, so we'll take our white wire, take out the insulation. Now we're using a larger diameter ring terminal than what comes in our kit. This has a bigger opening. We have these available on our website if you would like to purchase one. And we'll crimp that down. Now we'll place the ring terminal on over that stud and reinstall the nut. And that gives us a nice solid ground point. Now, even though we're inside our vehicle, one thing I like to do is wrap up all of our butt connectors with electrical tape, just to help keep dirt debris and any potential moisture from entering, potentially causing a poor connection or a short down the road. Okay, now we'll plug our relay into our relay socket. It only goes in one way, so just line up the tabs appropriately and push. Okay, with our relay plugged in now, we can reconnect our brake light switch. All right, so we got our brake light switch plugged back in, and here's what it looks like. All right, now with all of our connections made, we can plug our fuse tap in to where we originally moved the seven and a half amp fuse. Okay, we went ahead and bundled up all of our wires and secured up our relay up out of the way of a couple zip ties. That way they're clear of any moving parts and away from our feet as we're driving our vehicle. Now we can put our panel back in place. And that completes our look at and installation of the Roadmaster Brake Light Relay Kit for towed vehicles, part number RM-88400 on our 2017 Toyota Corolla. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.